Greetings. Hello everyone. Welcome to Petaka Technologies. In this video, we will cover the basics of the average x function and its syntax with examples of how to use it in Power BI. The average x function is a powerful aggregation function that allows you to calculate the average of an expression evaluated for each row in your table. Let me explain you with an example. In this data source, we have two columns, quantity and price. In sales table, go to table tools and select new column. To create a new calculated column, to calculate the average sales amount by multiplying the quantity and price for each row in the sales table. Rename this column as averages. Then write the DAX to calculate the average sales amount. Select average x function in DAX to calculate the average of an expression evaluated for each row in your table. The average x function is DAX used to return the average of quantity and price column values. The syntax for the average x function is table comma expression. Average x starts by selecting the table specified in the function. Example, choose sales table comma average x iterates over each row in the selected table one row at a time. For each row, average x evaluates the expression specified in the function. Example, choose quantity column and in Power BI we use asterisk symbol to multiply two column values and choose price column, close the parenthesis and commit. This calculates the average sales amount by multiplying the quantity and price for each row in the sales table. Select the averages column, change the format to decimal number. This expression is calculated for each row and resulting in a value for each row. The final average is returned as the average of quantity and price. Let me explain you clearly. Average at iterates each row. Row 1, 2 into 10, 20. Row 2, 3 into 20, 60. Row 3, 4 into 30, 120. Then it adds up the result of each row. 20 plus 60 plus 120 is equal to 200 and divided by 3. The result of the average x function is 66.67 which is the average of the calculated values for each row. Now you can try using average x with different tables and columns in your Power BI reports. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't be afraid to try new things and make mistakes. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial on using average x with DAX in Power BI. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you want to learn more about Power BI and DAX, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more tutorials and Power BI tips and tricks. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment below with any questions 
or suggestions for future videos. Thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next video.